Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. We'll have more on our milestone uh, event here at Inside Indiana Biz Business 20 years on the air a little bit later in the show. But now to our top story, and it is a big one. India-based tech giant Infosys has announced some big plans in Indiana, a new USA Education Center, a campus to be built uh, at the old Indianapolis International Airport site. Plans call for an additional 1,000 new jobs on top of the 2,000 jobs the company is already committed to uh, in Indiana. Indianapolis for creation of a technology and innovation hub in the heartland. And for more on the deal, how it came together and what's next, let's turn now to Infosys President and Deputy Chief Operating Officer Ravi Kumar and Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. You, you're just here from the announcement, so we appreciate you taking the time. You've had a very busy day uh, today and a big announcement. Robbie, I'll start with you. With sure. you. The numbers are big. Uh, the project itself, 3,000 jobs. Why pick Indiana and Indianapolis for this education center? Yeah, so, you know, we spoke about it last time. Um, last May, we announced 10,000 jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, this is in context to all our clients, large corporations who are digitizing mm -hmm. their landscapes and we are a part of them. We need to build capabilities for the future. And we made an announcement of 2,000 jobs in Indiana as the first technology and innovation hub where our clients and Infosys can come together to co-create the future. We do realize that when we made that announcement, we need to build capabilities which don't exist today. So this training center is in the heart of that announcement because we have to build capabilities grounds up. We have three feeders of talent. We hire from schools and colleges. We repurpose talent from legacy talent pools, and we hire experienced talent which needs continual learning. All these three talent pools need a training capability so that we stay relevant to our clients. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why the US Education Center, which we announced in Indiana, is very important in this strategy. Yeah, right we, are a, we are a company which has one of the largest training facilities in the world, in India. So we're going to replicate that back in Indiana. Why Indiana? You know, we spoke about it earlier. In the middle of the United States, great access to our client clusters, good academic ecosystem, and a great government to support us in this journey to think big for Indiana and for Infosys. Yeah. Governor, talk about the impact in your view uh, uh, of this deal. Again, big numbers, 3,000 jobs. What, in, in your view, is going to be the impact, the ripple impact of the deal? Well, it really will be. First, uh, happy birthday to Inside Indiana Thank Business. Uh, what a 20-year run you've had. And, and I think about this in the context of the 20 years to come. We have, as you alluded to at the outset, we have really got our economy dialed in, humming, very attractive, almost magnetic, uh, globally speaking. We've got an infrastructure program in place that connects us with the world and brings the world back to us. And what we have to make sure that we're doing is everything to skill up our workforce. And that's what emphasis does like no other. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to have not just a profound positive impact on central Indiana, but every community, every business that wants to make sure that they can usher in the future of business, the way we're integrated and the, the IOT of the way we live, work and play. This is what emphasis does. And so it couldn't be a better partnership mm -hmm. uh, that will really extend well outside our borders. Folks will be coming into Indiana through the number one ranked airport now six years in North America, and they'll drive by emphasis every single day uh, to get training. Yeah, uh, Robbie, talk about for those who aren't familiar with the model at Infosys, this training campus, this education campus, and what it's all about. Yep, you know, um, Infosys always believed that hiring from schools and driving a eight to twelve week training, which is experiential, immersive, and classroom and actually comes from practical training is very important for us to build capabilities for the future. So this training campus will have facilities to do classrooms, facilities to create experiential learning, a residential facility so that it's very immersive. And that's the reason why we, uh, we, we, we establish a facility to actually set our training needs. Mm -hmm. Not only are we going to use it for our own employees, we also want to use it for our clients. Mm -hmm. Our clients need training and capabilities as much as we need. Mm -hmm. They have to repurpose themselves for the future of digital. So this is a comprehensive way of looking at training and enablement for building capabilities of the future. All right. Well, thank you both for joining us. Ravi Kumar uh, from Infosys, Governor Eric Holcomb, of course, big deal. We'll be following it in the months and years ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.